What's up everybody? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. I took like a week break off. We're supposed to do this streak of doing 10 days, but I kind of failed on that. But it's okay to mess up. It's okay to start over as long as you don't quit. That's all that matters. I already uploaded one video, so this will basically be streak two. Well, day two of trying to do this 10 day streak. I actually trimmed up my hair and I cleaned up my face, trimmed my facial hair and like shaved right here because that's still kind of patchy. I don't know, I was just looking a little scruffy and wasn't really taking care of myself so I thought, you know, you know what, I think it's time for a shave and a trim. Today is the first. As you guys know, on the first we usually go out and get things that we need. But first we're going to go out to eat and we haven't been to Chinese in forever so we're going to go get some Chinese food which I'm excited for. I gave Jen an option today. It was either we get Chinese or Bob Evans because Jen mentioned Bob Evans the other day. We both kind of decided on Chinese because Chinese is a buffet. It's all you can eat. And maybe later on throughout the week or something or throughout this month, we can just go to Bob Evans. How are you this morning? Okay, after your little scare. You want to tell them and then I'll tell them my perspective of what happened. Shane gets up and goes to the bathroom. All I hear is, oh, why do you have to be so close to me? Why do you have to be so close to the wall? Why are you not in the bathtub? I sat there giggling because I'm like, wait, what is this? Because we have a spider and he comes up from the drain. Y'all know our trailer. It's a whole ordeal of the trailer. It's falling apart, but you know, we're taking it day by day trying to get it fixed back up. We have this ginormous spider. He is a hobo spider. If you Google it, they're, they're pretty big. He, he's all the size of the palm of my hand. He was spread out like this on the, on the <laughs> wall. Usually he's just in the bathtub and I can get him back down the drain because we took our drain out. But I can usually show him back down the drain. Our drain doesn't go straight down into a pipe. It goes, unfortunately, underneath the house. I can usually show him back. But this time he was on the wall <laughs> staring. Shane, why he use the bathroom? We told her perspective of what she heard. This is what <laughs> happened. So I sat down on the toilet and I looked down at, in the bathtub because I'm like, okay, you know, usually he's in the chilling in the bathtub. I didn't see him. So I was like, okay, maybe he's not, you know, in the house today. But I sat down and all of a sudden I look in front of me and he's right there all spread out. And I'm like, Ugh! <laughs> like this. And I'm like, I'm not afraid of the spiders. It was just, I didn't expect him to be right there there and I mean, he was our spread, bathroom is small so spread eagle like this <laughs> on the wall like he's here like by sitting on the toilet and reach out and you can touch the wall like that's how small the bathroom is <laughs> so when i looked up i was like oh like why do you have to be so close and give me jump scares like that usually he stays in a bathtub i did not expect him to be on the wall right in front of me i was afraid to get up because if he sees movement he's going to think it's food and he's going to like jump or something well, I got up, he didn't jump, he just kind of just sat there. I probably scared him by doing, uh. <laughs> He's probably like thinking, what is wrong with this person? Like, I'm just trying to catch some bugs, man. We had to get him and move him because in the wall, there's a hole. Through the hole, it leads right to our bedroom. And he was so close to that hole. And it would be bad if, you know, he came into the bedroom, he would either get stepped on, being bundled up in our clothes, and we no, don't no, know no, it. No, 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 Shane was afraid that he would wake <laughs> up and he'd be on his face. In the whole <laughs> scenarios of what if you got in our clothes, what if we stepped on him, the, the first scenario when the initial fear was what if he's on our face when we wake yeah, up. Yeah, wake up and he's just like chilling on our face because he's trying to catch other spiders and he's just trying to catch them which, and they're just chilling right here. Which is why we think that he moved from the bathtub because we have two or three house spiders that's in the bathroom. They had moved, they used to be right above the bathtub, like the shower head. They used to be right there in the little corner. And we just let them be there because they're just the little house spiders. They had ended up moving across the way to the door. So that's why we're thinking that he had moved from the bathtub to the wall because he's like, where's my spiders that I was gonna eat? Because the hobo spiders eat house spiders and other bugs. And it's just, just the way it happened. <laughs> Jen caught him into a cup and he like hopped into the cup. She didn't even have to like force him in. He just like I kind of like moved him because like he was spread. He was he was he spread. So I kind of just put him against the cup and then I, I made sure I didn't get his legs. Picture a McDonald's large size cup. And I had to kind of like shimmy his legs in there so I didn't squish his legs. That's about how big he 
Yeah, he like fit in the palm of my hand. I tried to put his hand on it so he could hold him in the cup. <laughs> she couldn't even do that. Because he still scared me from the jump scare that he gave me. So I was like, what do you call it? The fight or flight or something? It's just a big old baby. They really don't try to bite unless they feel threatened. You know, just like any, any spider. Uh, if they do bite, it's going to feel like a little bee sting. It's nothing major. Yeah, because I'm used to big wolf spiders, which they don't bother me because I know they're big babies. But he was a spider I've never really seen before. I've never heard of a hobo spider. So I was just like, okay, this is a different spider. I don't know what he is. So it kind of like makes me nervous because I don't know what type of spider he is. I'll have to pull up a picture. But he's a hobo spider and he, I guess he's like a family of the wolf spider. We should have took a picture of him. But I, my initial thought was get him out because you were scared. Yeah, we took him out to the tree. So hopefully he won't find his way back. And if there is another spider, then they have to have a whole freaking family down there. He's like orange and black, like like how zebras are printed on their skin. Well, imagine that, but the white parts of it is orange. I That's what you, he looked like. I can tell you, his body looked like this. Like his body was at least this thing. He was huge. That's just his body. And there was two of these. So like his front and his butt. And then like his legs on the other hand, imagine like this. And like imagine a spider just chilling right in front of you while you're using the bathroom when I was expecting him to be in the bathtub I think what scared me the most is that I was expecting him to be in the bathtub and I didn't expect him to be right there in front of me when I was looking straight at him yeah that was our little adventure, <laughs> adventure for the morning next time if he does end up coming back I'm gonna try to get my camera to like show you guys how big he is if he comes back from all the way to the tree then I don't know if it'll be the same one, but if there is another one, then it has to be like a family that's underneath the house. But he's huge. But I have no problem with spiders. I love spiders. But it's just, when there comes to spiders that I don't really know about, they kind of give me like that heebie-jeebie. Yeah, because I don't know what type of spider he is. I don't know what any information about him. I don't care what kind of spider he is. I'm just like, ooh, give me. <laughs> and I used to be so, so, so super scared of spiders. And I'm just like, ooh. Let me catch him. Yeah, she was even willing to hold a freaking black widow. The most poisonous spider. I wanted to hold him so bad, but it's been telling me no. Yeah, because they were really poisonous. And I don't know how they are. <laughs> yeah, we have a car, and we're not that far from the ER. And then do we know what a spider was at least? True. Don't they have venom? Or venom? Don't they have uh, anti-venom? I don't know. Antidote? <laughs> is it, it anti-venom or antidote? I have no idea. I'm so confused about that. But, like, I... Oh, and oh my gosh, it's the first day of Halloween. Oh, he just wanted to come and say hi for Halloween. Oh my gosh. I swear that's probably the same spider that was on your hair that one day when you went into the bathroom. Do you think he was just a baby? Because, I mean, that's been a few months ago. Maybe. We didn't even relocate that last spider that was on my head. We just kind of put him on the porch. Except this time when I got him out. Because usually I can just shoot him down the drain and he'll, he'll go down the drain. But that's usually when he's in the bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> because I tried to catch him the last time to relocate him. But, but the cup went. was also too small. Yeah, the cup was, was small. I didn't, I didn't think about it. I just thought he would fit in the cup. Yum, we made it. Oh, I can already smell it. It smells so good. Unless I'm smelling something else, but whatever I'm smelling smells good. So now the door's being weird. You have to press on the door for it to open now. It cut me the last time that I did it. That's a scar now, but... We're probably gonna have to get like those uh, pliers to hook them onto there so that way you can use the pliers as a handle so you don't have, have to keep to do cutting yourself. I cut my finger all the time and that's why I have you push on it and if I'm by myself I can usually grab the window and pull it and then open it, but... I'm pretty sure that I'm smelling Chinese food unless we're smelling something else. I mean, there's Applebee's, there's Moe's, there's Penn Station, there's... Uh, that's Apple. one place I want to try one day. Oh my god, it reminds me of the mouse. We love these songs! Best Coke ever. Mm. I got me some noodles, pepper chicken, some potatoes. This is what Jen got. It looks delicious. Oh, I am flowers. so full. Oh, I didn't even notice that mine was a flower wrapper. They changed their what their fortunes look like, but my fortune, it says, your next choice will unlock the door to new possibilities. What does it mean when you get double fortune? What? Whoa. <laughs> so Jenica just got two fortunes. I swear, I just opened it. Like, there's two fortunes. I haven't even read it. There's two fortunes. I guess it's good luck, maybe? I'm not even chanting it. I don't even know what to say, but I'm eating the cookies. 
I'm not chancing it. I don't care what it says at this point. I never got two fortunes. That is crazy. I've never got two fortunes. I never got a two fortune before. What? Oh, that's so crazy. A routine will turn into an enchanting escape pad. You can't ride in all directions at one time. What's your lucky numbers? Three, 28, 35, 39, 44, 47, 3, 4, 17, 27, 34, 39. My lucky number is 5, 23, 33, 38, 40, 51. And look, yours is different than mine. Like, look how different they are. Oh gosh, is this like Freaky Friday? That's why they were serious. I better not wake up in your body. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy because as soon as we went in there, the, the waiter that we had, she just stared at me. She just got this big smile and then the whole time she was just constantly watching me. And then Jen got up to go get a plate and I had my elbow like sticking out a little bit and she came so close to the table and like swiped her hip against my elbow. I was just like, oh my gosh, like do I really look that different since I've cut my hair or something? I don't know if she just thought I was cute or something, but the whole time I was eating, like she would like stand somewhere and stare at me. And then when I went up to go get plates, she would stare at me even more. Maybe we can look up on Google what it means if you got two fortunes. I am so full though. It would have to be good luck. I am so full too. The food doesn't really taste the same as it normally does. I don't know if it's my parosmia or what, but. It did taste good though. Yeah, it was good. It just had different tastes to it. Especially the noodles. Like The noodles are like my favorite thing. And ever since we ate Chinese, I just feel so tired. I could just sit back and close my eyes and like fall asleep right now. He has to like, stop like, a couple times. Cause like, <laughs> there was kids yelling and he was like, I didn't see no kids. And I was like, standing right by the road. I really didn't see no kids. They were standing right there. I promise you. That's why I was like, you have to have your eyes closed. Well, I guess I had my eyes closed, but I felt like I had my eyes open. I don't know, ever since I ate that food. But also, we didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And I took my requip at like 4 o'clock in the morning because I just got done editing my vlog. So I took my requip. I had restless legs. If I don't take it, I'm not going to be able to sleep because my restless legs. I took my requip at 4 o'clock in the morning and then I woke up at 9. I don't know if it's because I was supposed to have requip in my system. Because I took my medicine this morning when I got up, but I didn't eat nothing. So I don't know if there's just something that just... I just feel so tired, so we're stopping to get a coffee. So hopefully, maybe a coffee will help. And also, I have to pick up the rest of my medication from CVS, so hopefully me taking my medicine, because since I missed the day yesterday, will help. Uh, can I have two large Java chips? Two busy Java chip from channels? Yes, please. And then can I try a, just a small summer sky drink? And that'll be all. 1974. Thank you. What's a summer oh, sky drink? It looks like it's got boba in it. Ooh. I we could try it. I felt like I have to sneeze. I had to sneeze in the Okay, I guess it went away. Restaurant and I held right here because I was like, please don't sneeze. There's so many people around. Please don't sneeze. <laughs> so I held it in. Yeah, once you sneeze, everybody looks like you thinks you have COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I eat Chinese like any other time and I don't feel so tired. But you I think also... it's also because I went to bed late. I took my requip. My requip's still in my system. Then I woke up. I have another up, story time to tell y'all. And then I woke up and took my medicine, which it's just my ADHD medicine. I didn't get to take my Lexapro because I'm out of that, which I'll be picking that up soon. And yeah, I totally forgot we do have another story. And we also have part of the story at home that I'll have to show you to make more sense. And then there's another reason why I went to bed late, not just by editing the vlog. We got our Java chips. <laughs> this is the drink. It's so cute. Try it. Big giant straw. That's actually really good. <laughs> I love the face. That was good. Okay, I love the baba or whatever you call them. That's what they look like. They look like little Orbeez. It looks like you're eating Orbeez. Did you eat it? Mm -hmm. The taste is like amazing. That is really good. Okay, so that's definitely a yes. God, so next time we come to Starbucks, if they still have it's this. It's only like, I'm pretty sure like a summer thing. Uh, it's one of their summer drinks. If you guys go to Starbucks, definitely get this and try it. Definitely a yes. 
I like how cute it is. It's like a blue and then like there's the Bubba. Is it called Bubba or Boba? Boba? Boba. I could for some reason call it Bubba. Bubba? <laughs> it's Bubba. All right, Bubba. Mm, but look at the Java chips. I haven't had my Java chip the last couple of times that we've been to Starbucks, so I usually been getting the oat milk drink that Keegan ended up getting me liking, so I got the Java chip this time. Especially if I need some kind of energy to get me out of the slump. Hopefully the Java chip where it has chocolate, You're coffee. Drink this, right? huh? You're helping me drink this, right? Oh, I'm helping you drink it? Yeah, so I'm like, can you help me drink it? I got it for us to try. And... I just thought you got it for yourself, too. No, I got it for us. It's like the, whoa, what was that? A bird. It's like the taste is, it's hard to describe what the taste is. The little ball things are really fruity, like the taste is really good. That's the reason why my face was like, I was not expecting that. In general, the drink is like, it's like a yogurt as a fruit, but as a drink, if that makes any sense. I don't think that makes any sense. <laughs> a fruity yogurt as a drink. A yogurt? Yeah, but more liquidy, more like ice. I don't know, it's just hard to explain. You try taking a drink and explaining the taste. Like, it's just hard. It's like a hard flavor to... I need to ask Keegan if she's tried it, if they have it over there. It's good, but it's hard to explain what it tastes like. So the only thing I could take think of is a fruity yogurt as a drink. Yeah. I like the color of it, though. It looks like you're eating Orbeez. <laughs> you just... I wish I got that on camera. Jen just bit it and it squirted all over her and me. Let's try it again. Oh, no, it just went, went on your lip. The first time she did it, it went everywhere. Oh, there it goes. It squirted. It's on my arm. What's crazy is that I've only took a couple of sips of my drink and I already feel so much better. And Jen looked at me and said, it's serotonin because of the chocolate. I was like, if that's what it takes, it's just me feeling happy is the like chocolate. I would give me a Hershey bar and have a piece of chocolate every single day because I'm not a sweets fan or anything. I don't eat, you know, chocolate a lot. If it takes just eating chocolate every single day to make myself feel happy, then that's what I'll do. That's just crazy how good I just perked up because I was the just like- The whole way from, from Ashland to here, like back to Huntington, you were like completely silent. I was just like this. I was just like... The whole way. I was like, chill. I just felt so tired. And then once I got a drink of this, it was just like, my energy just perked up. That's just crazy. I had to chill for a bit because I was so full from the food. Chinese filled me up completely. The stories that we were telling you in the car, I'm going to show you. Well, one of the stories we didn't actually get to tell you. I would have to show you in person to make it understand. First, I want to show you how big these kittens have got. As you guys know, Grace had kittens like a good month ago. This is how big they are. And if anybody around this area would like to have any kittens, we're trying to give them away. They're all litter trained. They, they eat regular food. The only one that we're not going to be giving away is Athena, which Athena is the fluffy white cat. I don't see her. Look how big they have got. Grace is just looking like Fetty Wap over here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She has like cold in her eye. And that's the reason why her eye looks like that. But she's been giving the eye cold to all the other kittens. Except for this one. This one doesn't really have it. This one doesn't really have it. They're just so giant. I wish the f I don't know where Athena is. We end up calling the fluffy white one Athena. We actually plan on keeping her. Then, last night, there was so many things. Do you want to tell them the story or that you woke up to? what we have over there in the bucket. Okay, let me get my support animals here. <laughs> okay. You make it seem like so dramatic. Or is this one? Okay. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? So last night, I was watching Keegan's gameplay. Check it out on our YouTube, it's really good. She fucking, she nailed the ending. I wasn't expecting the ending. I just got jump scared a couple times. Jen was laughing at me. Finished the gameplay through and I was getting ready to just, you know, to lay down, you know, chill. It was like, what? And I played on my phone a little bit. I don't know. I was just chilling. Getting really kind of sleepy. I had already taken my meds because the new medication I'm on makes me sleepy. So I started taking it at night. I take it about two hours before I get tired. Maybe... 2 or 3 o'clock by the time, I think it was about 3 when I started actually getting kind of tired. We were just, Shane was editing, I was watching TikToks. I put my phone down. Shane's like, I hear, I hear meowing, but every time I get up to look, I don't hear it. And I was like, I don't hear anything. I hear, I hear nothing. 
He was like, come on with it. Come outside with me. I was like, okay. We go underneath the house, and he hears the kitten underneath the house, up in the insulation. And he pulls out one, and one has already passed away. I think that's what you do. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> religious. <laughs> this is, you know, rest in peace, poor little baby. One doesn't look like he's going to make it, but, you know, at least we can make it comfortable, and we... I didn't want to put it back for it to die alone. I bring it in here, and, you know, we wrap him up, you know, in a little cocoon. And then we bring Mommy in because we're, like, she's jumping at the windows going stir crazy because we kind of, like, just uprooted her baby. She's just basically not stomping all over its head, but she's, like, walking all over it and just not letting it Eat. die in peace. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what to do. So we stuck her back outside and then, you know, made the little guy comfortable. We put him on a heating pad. We don't have any kind of formula. We had formula at one point, but it went bad, so we had to throw it out. But at this point, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Everything's closed. Walmart does, it doesn't do 24 hours. So I was like, there's nothing it can do until morning. So if he makes it until the morning, we can go out and get formula. So he's over here chilling in the tub, right? He's just, you know, every now and then you can hear him. I'll, I'll pat him to sleep because, like, I can go like this a couple. And he'll just kind of mellow out knowing that he's not alone. I talk to him, so... He, he chills out. Like I said, I've already taken my medicine, so I'm so groggy tired, right? I had no idea. Shane had got up, apparently, and he went outside. I'll let him explain, you know, that he went outside by himself. In the middle of the night, yeah, like, this has to be at, like, 4.30 in the morning. He just comes in here with a whole bundle. They fell. They fell. <laughs> That's all I get woke up in the dead of sleep. I just hear somebody walking really heavily through the hallway. So I set up, because I'm facing this way, and all I hear is, they fell. They fell. They fell. And I was like, <laughs> what? Who fell? What? And then I just see kittens. I see four kittens. And I was like, no, take them back. Please, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, there's already one over here that's trying to die. What are we going to do? We have no formula. I can't do anything. I don't know what to do. I'm, but I'm so groggy. The groggy and I'm tired. And so I even apologized to Shane earlier for this. I was like, I didn't mean to get upset. Don't mind my chair full of clothes. And look, Spice had her babies. I guess they fell out from the area that they were sitting because they have their eyes open now. Two of them do. Two of them don't. And she's been taking care of them. Which is a good mommy, and this would be her first litter ever. Her being a first-time mother, it's it's really good that she's taking care of him. She he's, knows what to do. He's a brat. Yeah, he's he likes brat. the wine. He's the whiny butt. Later on in the future, we're gonna have more kittens to give to homes. And look, this one looks like just another little Oreo. Two yeah. orange, white, one black and white, and one total gray. Yeah, you're such a good mommy. But that's all I get told. All I get told is he's like this. They fell. They fell. They fell. And, and you gotta remember, this is like four thirty, five o'clock in the morning. It's, he's got stuff all over his head. He looks like insulation. He said that he's crawled from one end of the trailer to the other uh, on the ground in the mud. And, and like he's in his boxers and a t-shirt. And it's like, uh, what? <laughs> I felt bad, and I'm like, I, I don't know what to put him in the tub, I guess. So we put him in the tub, and at this point, we didn't have Mommy in here yet. Because we don't, wasn't sure who was Mommy yet. So we were just like, no, like, well, they'll just be okay. They'll be okay until the morning, and then, you know, we'll take one of them out and see if we can find Mommy. And then Mommy will bring Mommy in here and see if Mommy will take care of him. And then that's why I was hoping after we got Mommy in here that she would take care of the other one. Well, then the other one was jumping at the window because where we, you know, uprooted her baby. So we were like... Will you take care of it? So we gave her baby back, and she's been at the window most of the day. So we don't know exactly where she took him. We don't know if he's moved on or alive. No idea. She she disappears for a while. So she'll be gone for a while, but then she'll come back. So we I don't know if she, if he's alive somewhere, if she is taking care of him. She took him to take care of him, so I'm like, maybe he's alive somewhere. It was this morning that I got up because she kept jumping at the window meowing. I felt bad, so I was just like, okay, I guess I'll just give her her baby, because her baby was dying. And I wanted the baby to be, you know, safe and everything. I gave her the baby, I set the baby right here on the porch, and I stood here, and she licked him, and picked him up, and took him underneath the house. Now she's right here now. I don't know where she would have took her baby. I don't know if he survived, or what? Where's your baby at? Huh? Where's your baby? Your baby's not in there. We gave you your baby. Where's your baby? Where'd your baby go? See if I see him anywhere. I think I heard a baby. I 
swear I heard a baby. I do. There's no freaking way that this baby is alive. He was stiff. He was like completely stiff and he would meow. Meow. Like, what? There's no way. So he's still alive, but I don't see him. There's no way that that baby's still alive. I mean, she acted like she wanted to take care of him. She did that earlier, just a few, a few minutes ago. A few hours ago, she disappeared for a few hours and she stopped. And then I didn't hear from her. And then just recently, she jumped up here with meowing like crazy. So I'm like, she knows where he's at and she has to be taking care of him because where did she go? She disappears. Last night, I kept hearing him and I crawled up underneath here and I had a knife and he was like up underneath this part, but she was like freaking out. Like she couldn't find her baby or something. So I was like, okay, maybe the baby wandered off and she couldn't get to him. So I crawled underneath there, slit the thing, got him, but he was also attached. Like the umbilical cords was attached to another baby. Their umbilical cords were like tied to each other and they were like molded and the other baby was passed away. So I ended up getting scissors and I cut it I really thought the baby was not going to make it, and I hear meowing. I'm so confused. But it sounds like it's in the same place that I cut the slit at. It's just, it's just shocking that the baby is still alive. I, I think where he was stuck to umbilical cord, that he couldn't really move his body because he had another kitten attached to him. And I thought they were conjoined, like a conjoined twin kittens. But it turned out that, was, that wasn't what it was. It was just the umbilical cords were tied up together, molded together. Maybe he's going to be paralyzed. Where's your baby? What'd you do with him? Huh? baby up here. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't hear nothing else. It's like once I go underneath there, I don't hear it anymore. So I'm just looking around the house. Right here is where I went underneath the house to get the other babies. All of them. It was all around this area. I'm trying to see where she goes. I don't see no babies or hear any babies. I have no idea. It's just crazy. If that's the same baby, I don't see how it's still surviving. I don't see how it's still alive. I just don't know why she's continuing to meow like she's confused and stuff. So, stopping at food fair. I actually have this little idea that we can make for food. I'm a buggy. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> but it's buggy. like a chicken burrito, but we have the corn stuff at home and it has like corn and peppers mixed in with it. Wow, did you actually get a buggy that's not crappy? Yeah. But I want to get like cans of chicken and we have the burritos at home and it's like this corn that's mixed with like, I have to show you what it's called, but mix it all together make a good chicken burrito. It's really good. So if you guys want anything like that, that's like something cheap, this would be a good idea for you guys. Jen's wanting lettuce with it. So I'll definitely eat lettuce with mine too. We've seen this drink. It's dragon fruit. Drag see? You got me no, see. you said it too. You can't even think. Dragon fruit, blackberry. And it's a protein drink. So we're going to try it. This is see if it tastes any good. Protein 2-0. Don't judge my Yeah, Jen got her some cookies. I want some milk. I don't know. I just want cookies and milk. Like, <laughs> I have a craving. Wait, what were we looking for again? Canned chicken. Canned chicken. Okay, here's tuna. Canned chicken. This is kind of what the corn is. Instead of beans, it has corn and it doesn't have no rice. It just has like the vegetables. One of these? I would get two. What? Red hot and spicy? See, Jen likes the spaghetti with no meat. Yeah, I like the beefaroni. I have to have the ones that's original right here. I used to grow up eating this kind of ravioli and I just can't stand it anymore. Oh, here's the corn that we have at the house. It's like this. So I forgot to show you guys the example of where the spider was. I'm sitting on the toilet, which I'm not using the toilet, by the way. When you come into the bathroom, I'm sitting on the toilet right now. Well, the bathtub 
This is how close the bathtub is. Like, it's just like right here. I was expecting the spider to be right over here in the bathtub. That's where he usually chills. If you look right in front of me, I can literally just reach out and touch this wall. The spider, when I seen him, he was right here. And this is the hole that I was telling you guys about that like he could have just went in and went through the hole and went right straight into our bedroom. Like, that's going to be the end of the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.